Welcome back to Worthington Model Railway, and uh, this arrived today, so uh, I thought we'll open it up and have a look. Uh, this is the new Rapido Trains LNERY7, and this one is in British Railways Black. can see from the label um, this is DC silent so I am going to uh, just put a regular uh, DC C decoder in just a rails connect uh, no sound um, but uh, as my layout is DCC for the most part um, I tend to fit most of my locomotives with a DCC decoder as you can see looking at the box there is a nice line drawing of the locomotive on the front there's very other little information on the box and opening up the box we have this uh, form packaging which seems to be pretty standard these days um, along with a clamshell and uh, it's obviously upside down but we'll turn it the right way around in a second and also uh, there's an owner's manual which I'll take a look at in a second taking the locomotive out of the box um, here is some uh, accessories there's quite a range of accessories in that pack so uh, we can look and see what of those we may or may not want to fit in the future. And here is the uh, locomotive. So let's get it out and have a look at it. So at first sight, a uh, very, very nice model. Uh, looks very well detailed. Um, nicely finished. Lettering is really nice. Um, you know, really no line on the on the top of the boiler or anything uh, lettering there on the buffer bar is is nice and uh, yeah, I'm very impressed with the, uh, the level of finish on this um, cab is quite well detailed um, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this from the camera but let me let me pick it up and see if we can see that detail in the cab there uh, the light might be better this way but all in all very happy with this little locomotive it's a, a very nice addition okay let's uh, see if we can get the uh, body off and DCC fit it. So as I'm looking at this, some of the other details that are really, really uh, superb on this and the, the, the separately fitted parts include these handrails that are up there. Um, if we look on this side, we can see this piping on the top, but also the piping underneath here, uh, along here, you may be able to see piping. Um, sprung buffers all around which is sort of nice sprung buffers all around which is nice on a model of, uh, of this sort of size and um, so I think yes this definitely uh, ticks all the boxes and uh, I'm uh, very pleased with uh, with what I have here so according to the documentation I have to take out the four screws you can see on the bottom there so let's get those screws out and see where we go from there. So with a little bit of coaxing, <clears throat> the body came off and uh, here we can see the motor and the, the nice flywheel on the motor. So hopefully that will make it run well. And here, I think you can just about see the, uh, the blanking plate that needs to come out. And uh, we'll put the next 18 decoder in there. Um, you do have to remove this whole piece. Um, it slots in there, and then you can get to the blanking plate. It was somewhat of a tight fit to get this decoder in, and uh, it's not fully down there. I'm hoping I can get the body back on, but let's see. So I ended up taking this piece of packing out, uh, see if I can get the decoder to fit with that removed. That piece of packing allowed me to get the decoder in. And there we are all back together again. So let's put this on the rolling road and uh, see what it does. So I programmed the uh, decoder and uh, mm. 
Let's change the direction. Hopefully it will slow down and speed back up again. Yeah, I might, might want to play with the value on CV3 and 4. Maybe not. We'll see what it's like when it's on the, the layout. Okay. So I'm going to leave this uh, to run in for a while and then we'll uh, test it on the layout. So when taking the body off, be very careful. I just realized that uh, this little pipe here was missing. It came loose when the body came off. Um, I did just find it <laughs> and put it back on. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked that quick look at the Rapido Y7. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. There's a subscribe button to the top right, and you'll see another video to the top left.